Hi everybody, N5SIM and 725 World Radio with another little video on a Cobra 2000 that we're putting the new DDS VFO in. Again, the camera is giving you a little flicker, uh, just like it does here on these. It, it, it's not, it, that doesn't show up in real life, that just shows up in, uh, uh, on the camera. So, the DDS VFO, as you can tell, you can do these, you, you can move your channels where you need them to go. Okay, your channels are moving. Yeah, get my hand out of there. It depends on uh, how you want to move or where you want to move. You can actually move whatever you want. Let's say you want to go down to the zeros. You just go down here to the zeros. And you notice the frequency counter here. Let me back it up. It changes along with it. Isn't that nice? Okay. Um, you have a couple of different modes. This is the VFO mode. As you can see there, VFO, there is a channel mode. Going to channel mode tells you, okay, I'm on AM20. Okay. You can do the same thing here. As you move, you can go up and down wherever you want to go to. Negative, positive. Right? There's channel 20. Now, you wonder why it's a little off frequency? Because your voice lock moves the digits here. And, of course, as I move it, your frequency counter catches up. Now, if you're wondering why you don't see the frequency counter catching up with it exactly, it's because this frequency is moving in much smaller steps. If you notice, I'm on 5.0. So if I come here to 5.1, okay, there's, you know, it, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna watch it, but we're going a lot smaller steps. You, you can change uh, upper side. You can see it change there. Lower side. And again, I uh, hit my clarifier a little bit. But everything tracks along. It works really nice. There is a uh, band scan mode. Uh, some Roger Beep modes that you can put in it for multiple Roger Beep. Um... The band scan is pretty nice. It'll automatically scan all the bands uh, like you saw in the other video and uh, let you know of spurious uh, signals that are out there. But yeah, this sucker works pretty good. And um, it's a very easy kit to put in. You just need a little bit of time, but technically it's not that big of a challenge. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that one. And uh, also, there is a different display. There's a, um, a somewhat color display like you see on the other video. Uh, but this is the one the guy wanted in here. He wanted the white display. So it looks kind of nice, I think. And uh, so that's it. And uh, I'm going to ask him if he wants these to be changed, maybe to blue or something. Who knows? Anyway, just a short, quick video to show you how it's working. It does work pretty good. Now let me go back down. I think you heard some guys on 19 there. There's 19. And um, let me go back to AM. Oh, we're on AM. So ah, that's it. I think it works good. Anyway, if you want a kit, take a look at troyradio.net slash DDSVFO, and you'll find it there. Thanks.